Hi guys! So for my next card in my fall card series, I'm going to still be using the Harvest Mouse um, stamp set by My Favorite Things and the dies. Also, I'm going to be using the tree again from Elizabeth um, Craft Design. Uh, I'm also going to be using the um, stitched rectangle dies and I'm also going to use a square, um, which I'll show later die but that's for the other card anyway so I've already attached my ground to my base and I'm not going to do any little fluffy clouds or anything on this one because um, I've already cut out some then I just edged them with uh, like a B000 Copic marker just to give it a little bit of color I've already made my tree um, because like I said in the other video the trees take a long time I cut out all of my um, little leaves um, from that same paper pack the, the woodland forest by pebbles and now I'm just figuring out where everything's going to go so I'm going to attach my clouds to my um, panel and I'm using the Nuvo Deluxe Adhesive which is my new favorite glue so I use it for everything and then uh, once I get everything figured out where it's going to go and um, tamp down then yeah it's just this one's a real straightforward pretty pretty quick card but as soon as I saw that image with him playing in the little pile of leaves I knew I had to I had to use the tree again because um, that's a really cute little little landscape right there so now I'm just gonna attach my tree and uh, I made a yellow frame to go around the outside of the card, which I will place on after, before I trim down the tree, I'm gonna place that, uh, the, the frame, the yellow frame. On the cardstock that I'm using for the yellow frame and for all of my card bases, it's all a basil, 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 I'm not sure how you say it exactly, but I think I got them at Joann's when they were on sale, you know, like when they do their big 10 for a dollar or something like that sale. I got a whole bunch of their, their paper and it's, it's pretty thick, so it, it makes good card bases and um, really good frames if you want to frame stuff up. So now I'm just going to pop up my little mouse and place all the little extras, the little leaves. I thought would be cute if they were just kind of flying up from around him since his little arm is up in the air. So I'm just going to put those down flat with some glue. I'm also going to pop up my, my little pumpkin and put him down by the tree. And then I'll place on my frame. For the frame, I cut four of them. One yellow and three white. And then I just stacked them on top of each other to give it, um, just, just to make it more sturdy. And then I'm just going to glue it down. And then I'll trim off um, anything that's kind of hanging over. I'm showing you the, how thick it is. dry that off. I'm also, um, the sentiment that is on the side is fall is here and that is also from the Simon Says Stamp uh, greeting farm collaboration from last year and I uh, embossed it with the copper blush um, embossing powder by Nuvo. So it kind of sparkly and coppery and looks very fall and pretty. Now, um, once I've popped up my sentiment, it's just putting it on the card base, attaching it down with my ATG gun, and that will complete my next card. I'm trying to do three which, with each stamp set and trying to do something a little different with each one, but I love scene building, so it's really hard for me to get away from scene building. I'm not a watercolorist or a funky background kind of a person. I'm more of a, a scene, scene builder kind of card maker. So for my last card uh, using the stamp set is uh, going to be a shaker card. And I'm since I don't have a window die yet in my little stash, I got this at the Scrapbook Expo and they had it clearanced out for like five bucks. So I'm going to cut that down and turn it into a window. I'm also going to use the same, my stitch rectangle die, just like normal. And I'm going to take my piece and I'm going to make the inside of my window. So I want to make, it's not going to be too fancy because it's going to be, you know, this is the shaker part that's going to go on the inside. So I'm just going to use my vintage photo and my homemade, <laughs> I have a bunch of homemade stencils because I just, I have to pick and choose what I buy. And even though I would love to own them all, um, I have to be kind of frugal about what I pick. So I make my own. So that was uh, my clouds and my ground. 
that I made myself and I'm just using either like the vintage photo for the ground and I think I used tumbled glass oxide ink for the sky. This is an old stamp that I got. Um, I believe it, it was at it was at one of the uh, older scrapbook expos and it's just like a spooky tree. So I just used some of that brown Heidi Swap and ink and I inked it on there just to give it so that it's supposed to be looking outside um, from through the window and so I wanted to put kind of like a little fall looking tree out there. Now I'm going to trim my window with my die which lucky for me actually fit perfectly around that you know for the inside of where I was going to use for the window. I'm also going to trim off the bottom pieces which I cut out several of these um, with the brown, the same brown, brown basil paper, and I just trimmed them down to just be the four, the four paned window. And now I'm just going to um, adhere down the pieces that are going to be inside the shaker window that I don't want to move, which is just a few leaves, the leaf pile, and some uh, a couple more pumpkins, which are going to go um, in there. And so, so basically, the way that this scene is is supposed to be um, they're inside the house looking out the window, and it's you know a nice pretty fall day. And they're getting maybe they're getting ready to go out. I don't I don't know. I have to I have to come up with little stories to figure out exactly how I want my my card to go. So now I'm going to work on the inside of the room, and it's just a blank piece of you know it's it, I haven't even trimmed it down yet because I'm going to put everything on it first. So this would be like the wallpaper at the bottom of the wall that the window would kind of sit above. Um, this is just a scrap piece of from when I made the. The frame for the last card so I just cut off a piece I'm going to stick it over the top of that just to kind of give it like almost like a chair rail kind of look and then I'm going to use my stitched rectangle die I'm going to attach that and then I'm going to um, cut it all out together so it all has that same stitching all the way around the whole panel now I'm going to place my um, window to start building up my window scene. So I'm just going to stack a few of those together just to give them some stability, cut them down. I also cut out so, with some fun foam uh, squares that match the inside. I basically just use the same die over and over again and then I just trimmed out the middle part of the window for the uh, for the, um, the foam. And uh, if I had to do it again I, I would have cut one of those down because I actually used three of them because I thought it needed to be that thick but one one less so two high would have been plenty but I, I did it with three so I got what I got next time I'll know better so now I'm just gonna place down my foam on top of my panel that the inside of my shaker window and I'm going to attach that down and kind of let it sit there and dry for a minute and I, I attach them kind of backwards so that the tape side of the foam of the foam pieces is sticking up because that's what I'm going to attach the acetate to. This is a, a really pretty autumn colored. It came in one of the the kits that I got last year and I never used it. I believe it came in one last year. It may have been sooner, but it's just real pretty autumn colors and I loved it. So I pulled that one out and these are just some of my little things that I've picked up here and there that are little extras to go inside my shaker window. And then I'm going to peel off the adhesive from the fun foam and attach my piece of acetate, which this time I actually remembered to take off the little protective pieces that are covering it. I always forget to do that. And so then it's all kind of cloudy looking. And this time I actually remembered to take them off. So I'm just gonna pull off those protective film and then I'm going to attach my window frame to the outside of that. And this time, there's really no need to put glue on the in the middle because I always just get glue everywhere. So I'm just going to go along the outside. There's there's no reason to do it in the middle. And then I'm going to set my block on top of this to wait for it to dry and start working on my. I believe I work on the valance next. So I just use that same apartment builder die to make my the valance for this window. And I'm going to use my scoreboard and just trim, not trim, but score about a quarter of an inch off, you know, along the top so that I can just sit it 
along the top. So it just like you know, like a regular window valance where it goes all the way all the way out. So it just kind of sits on top. There you go. And then I'm just gonna pop up my my little people that are gonna go inside the room. And of course I can't stop shaking it because I'm like a little kid with these things. So next is to put on my mice and these guys are just kind of looking out the window getting ready to go out and some of the little decorations that are going to go on the inside with them. I thought about adding because I, I was actually supposed to put those little extra leaves inside so that they could shake around and I forgot them so now they're sitting out here but it's okay there's enough stuff in there. So I'm just going to pop up my little mice and they're like, it's like they're looking out the window and I should have put some glue on that window frame and I forgot so I'm just going to stick some underneath them and Push him down. That way he doesn't. It's almost like he's on a wobbler. This time I would glue this guy down. And then I'm going to add my little barrel of apples and a couple of pumpkins to the bottom. The sentiment that I'm using for this one is from a, a Hero Arts um, sentiment stamp set that I don't even remember. I probably got it at Michael's a long time ago, but it's a friendship one. And uh, I just wanted to have a little little friendship saying at the bottom, so I thought that would be, be kind of sweet. So I just, on some black uh, cardstock, I used some white embossing powder. And I'll show you the stamp set here in a second. And I just embossed the, oh wait, first, before I do that, I'm gonna put it on my card base, which is just, again, another brown um, card base from Basil. So we're just going to put that right in the middle. Then we'll work on the sentiment, which I will show you the stamp set here in a second. But I really love, I use the stamp set a lot. The, the friendship one, I love it. So there's that. I can't help but clean up my mess before I start anything. So here is my stamp set. Sometimes there you go, Hero Arts friend, and I'm going to use the "Thanks for being my friend" sentiment. So I'm just gonna, again, like I said, I'm just going to use my white um, embossing powder and a black. Um, I cut it out myself. I don't have a die, obviously. It's going to cut around that being the G and the Y. So I just kind of trimmed it out myself and placed it on there, popped it up. And these are all three of the cards that I made using the My Favorite Things Harvest Mouse uh, stamp set. And um, again, thank you guys so much for stopping by. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, the link for the blog will be on the bottom with all the colors, and I will see you again soon. Bye!